Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today is what I got my kids for Christmas. So today I'm just doing the younger two. My daughter is six and my son is seven. He will be eight in January. So I'm just covering the both of them for today. I'm still collecting some things for the 15 year old. They are obviously a lot harder. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I love seeing what other people got their kids for Christmas. I love getting different ideas. I always do this early. I have always done this early. So it's just the way I am. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I have tons of Christmas decorating and cleaning and all of that fun stuff coming for you. So make sure you are subscribed. I am going to start with Layton's pile. She is six. Like I said, she's into dolls. She's into gymnastics. She is into lol dolls she's into all the typical girl things so i'm gonna i have all their stuff kind of piled up behind me so i'm gonna grab her stuff and then i will show you everything that i got for her all right something that we got for layton that well there's two things that we got for her that are not going to be shown here one is up in the attic and it's huge and i didn't want to break it down <laughs> it is the american girl doll school um i'll put a little picture of it here but they, um, and my neighbor was getting rid of it. So uh, it's like $130 or so. So she was getting rid of it and gave it to me for free. So it just has, ooh, good job, Macy. She just got a little fly that's been around the house. She just got it. Good job. So um, that is up in the attic. It's just the school and um, it didn't have any of the supplies or anything like that with it. So I did get that for her. So. We will start with that. And like I said, it's just the big school. I didn't want to bring it all down just to bring it right back up. So um, we got her the school doll that goes with it. She comes with like a cute little outfit. She comes with a change of clothes for soccer practice. She's got a calculator, pen, pencil, notebook, um, a little backpack and a little book, I believe. I don't know if that's a book or not, but um, I thought she was really cute. I got this during one of the Target sales they were having, I think it was 25 off a hundred. Um, so I, I lucked out. I look for those deals all the time. So um, I got this set again to go with it. It's like the little filing cabinet and all of the school supplies. Again, there's another little bag. There's more notebooks and a tape dispenser and glasses and glue and all that cute stuff. I thought this was super cute and my daughter loves all like the little pieces and all the little um barbie pieces and the food and all those little things that go with like the barbies and american girl dolls and stuff like that so i thought she would love that and she has been asking for the school since last year but she got what did she get last year she got some other big thing and i was like that was too many big things all at once which i don't even know where she's gonna put that school now it's gonna have to go like back and forth in a room and find a new place for it but um she does have the barbie dream house i think she got that like two years ago so i saw this and thought this was absolutely adorable it is the um little barbie um like grocery store so it has like the checkout stand it's got the little food um shelves it has like eggs and milk and grapes and apples and yogurt and cereal and wipes and all of these really cute things so i know she will absolutely love that and then of course the little barbie and the grocery shopping carriage and all that so i thought that was a super super cute gift if any of you have a child between the ages of like four and ten they want one of these for christmas this year it is one of those little um foot massagers, a little foot spa that you put all those little beads in. Um, the ones like the water, um, the water beads. It's like the biggest thing this year. I got this at five below. So it was $5 because I know it's going to be one of those things that she uses once or twice. It's like a big novelty item and then it goes by the wayside. So $5, definitely don't mind spending that. So super good gift idea and the best place to get it. So all of those other things that I showed you so far, I got from Target. 
Target, but I'll have everything linked down below for you because I got some things at Amazon, some things at Target, and all of that. So, uh, let's see, what is next? I got her this big thing of LOLs. It has four of the big, like, Barbie size LOL dolls. So there is that, and there is, I think, over 80 surprises. Yeah, 80 surprises in there. So that will be a big deal. She wanted one of these big things of LOL dolls last year, and they were just out of control. I got that on sale, I think on clearance, um, a few months back at Target. So it was definitely, definitely way better to wait than to buy it at full price because those LOL dolls are so expensive. It's crazy. I also got this Target clearance. Um, it is the LOL Big Surprise um, Pets. So there's like a big LOL pet in there and there's a bunch of little ones. And then again, there's 15 surprises. So she has like the LOL camper, and she's got a little car, she has all the stuff too. So I love to get her these because she can use them all together. It's not like a new separate thing that it's like she'll get bored of it or anything like that, if that makes sense. So she got that to go with it. And then she also, this was an impulse buy because on Target the other day, like last week, they had like 50% off tons of LOL stuff. So I ended up getting these for her because this was like 40 something dollars and I paid $20 for it. So it is four of these big LOL surprise dance, dance, dance things, which these were in the Target catalog and she circled them. So I was like, win, win for mom. Um, the next thing I got her is one of these little kindy kids. She loves these. Again, this was on sale, I believe on Amazon at some point. So I grabbed it when it was on sale and it's a little like teacup one. So it's like a little magic teapot and that she can hold her little teacup and all of that. So Layton has a couple of these dolls and she loves them. So I think they're super adorable too. I don't know what it is, but they actually have like a little show and a little network on YouTube too. So she likes to watch those and play with them at the same time. <laughs> Next up for Miss Layton is one of these little fail fix dolls. I didn't really know much about them, but they're, her face is kind of messy, like her makeup is a mess and all of that. So you can use this little mask and I think you wet everything and it comes off and it just makes her look like all put together and it's got like a different outfit and all these different things. and. I don't really know, but it's a little doll. And then she can, I like to buy things like this, like um, that it's something for her to do. It's not just like you open it and play with it. Like you open this, you'll have to use water and wash off all the makeup and you can open it and brush her hair and there's little shoes in her hair and all the things that should not be in her hair. You can take them out, but then she has the doll that she can go and play with. So I like those kind of toys. Along that same line, <laughs> the Barbie color reveal doll. There's like seven little different surprises. There's hats, there's hair stuff, there's hair extensions, there's shoes, clothes, all different things. And you put them in the tub and they change color. So um, she's got a few different ones, like one's a unicorn one, so it's all different colors. She's got one that's like black and white buffalo check and all her outfit is that and all that stuff. So again, these are always super fun when they're in the bathtub and it's yucky weather and winter time you can just let them do one of those kind of crafts so um some smaller things i just got her this little she collects these little like box legos so she's actually really 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 good at building legos so i told a lot of family members to get her legos so that's why she doesn't have any legos from us and then this other little small mini bubble trouble again anything with like eggs and opening different little surprises and all of that kids absolutely love it so it just has these little small eggs that have different surprises in them and then just the little doll and again she's got a couple of these and she likes to play with them they're around the same size as the lol so they kind of all she just puts them all together and then i like to always get a craft to her this big box of those little beads that you like put them on the little um, template and then you put the paper wax paper over it, and then you iron them on and it's like that little mold 
I figured that was super fun and something that we can do in the winter time. And my kids love crafts, so I'm always buying kind of that kind of stuff and it keeps us busy and things to do over Christmas vacation, over snow days, or just like yucky weather where we're not going outside and doing as much. So that is it for Miss Layton. That is a lot of stuff, but she is getting one other big thing. She is getting gymnastics bars. So I will have them linked to the ones we are getting. I just have not ordered them yet because I'm so indecisive of which ones I want to get, but I think we've narrowed it down to the ones that we want. So that will be, um, I need to get those pretty soon because with stuff and the way it is, that's why I like to be early. So um, that is everything for Miss Layton. So we, what we do is we get the kids a few things from us which I'll share with you guys in a separate video. Usually I get like them some, some clothes, some uh, a book or two, things like that, but all toys and all fun stuff that goes from, or that comes from Santa. So let's move on to Austin's things. He loves um, like robots and motorized cars and all of that. So I got him this truck and it is supposed to it's like a stunt RC car. It is, I actually bought the insurance on stuff. I don't ever buy insurance on these like toys or anything like that, but I did buy it on this because it was only a few dollars. And it just, it, this goes through like mud and all outside in any kind of weather, like all terrain. So I figured it, if something happens to it, I think it would be worth it to get the insurance. So I did, he is going to absolutely love this because he loves these kind of things. So we got that for him. We got him this little, he loves Mario and he loves to play with like his little action figures and stuff still. So I got him this little Mario house and it has a little Mar Luigi and Mario and all these different guys and different um, compartments and doors to open and all of that. It's just like little um, Mario castle. Far Fire Mario. That's what's included. So and he's got a bunch of Mario figures and stuff, so I thought this would be good for him to love and play with. Then I just got him this little slingshot. He loves like Nerf guns and different things like that, so I thought this would be fun because something just a little bit different. It's this little slingshot with the Nerf bullets. And I got him, there's new Lego City um, cars and all different kinds of stuff that came up like a new line so I got him one of these cars from them it's just this little monster truck so he will like that because then he my kids love Legos and then they love building them but they also play with them all the time they come up with Lego make their own Lego cities and do all sorts of stuff like we had just lost power this past week from the storm and Austin built an entire I don't know where it is oh it's right here let me show you He made a whole bucket truck and he has different things attached to it but that he took off but it was a whole bucket truck and all of these things and he had the pole and he made all of this stuff so they definitely use Legos and absolutely love them so um, most of our Nerf guns are Brendan's they were his when he was a lot younger so we actually just went through them when we cleaned out the garage and we ended up getting rid of a good amount of them because they were old or had broken pieces or anything like that. So I got him this Fortnite Nerf gun. It's got a motorized blaster and it's supposedly an awesome one. So I don't really know much about Nerf guns. I just know he loves Fortnite and does like Fortnite dances. He does not play the video game and honestly doesn't know anything about it other than what his friends tell him. I'm the mean mom and don't let him play it. So, you can play like Mario Kart and a few other things. I'm very particular on what the kids play. So, um, I got this for him I think last year and didn't end up giving it to him, but he's been asking for one of these and um, it is a Sonic, um, it's like a little RC, um, oh my god, what am I trying to say? Um, little like RC thing, like it just kind of floats up in the air and um, that stuff, which actually this is not that. It's an RC thing. 
I thought it was one of those little things that like float up in the air. I can't even think of what you call them right now. But they're like those little um, like motorized um, things that like go zipping through the air. My, the word is escaping me of what it's called. But this actually is motorized and he's on a little skateboard. So that is super cute. So got that for him. Then he has where Layton has the little bead thing that has um, like unicorns and flowers and all of that kind of stuff. I got Austin the Harry Potter one. I found this at the craft store and I thought this was super cute. So if he can make Harry Potter, he can make whoever that guy is, he can make all these different things like the crest and all of these different like people. I thought that was super cute. Let me see what it says. Um, patterns, it just doesn't say. Um, it has 19 different patterns of all different like kind of things. So I thought that was cute. Again, good for the cold weather and it's good for um, just something for kids to do over Christmas break and all of that. So Austin is big into the tech deck stuff. So I got him this ramp and it comes with one of the skateboards and I also got him a couple other skateboards as well um, for his stocking. So. He will be so excited. He's big into all of that kind of stuff, like the skateboarding and all of that fun stuff. And, whoops. Again, I got him a little robot. It's a voice changing sidekick. He loves these little things. He always picks these out. He loves them. So I got him this little one um, and he does you know, voice changing things, he claps, he does all sorts of stuff. You can talk into him, you can pose his arms, you can change the voice, you can change the speed, he can do all the different stuff. So he's actually pretty cool. So that is that for him as well. Then I got him some legit walkie talkies. Last year we got him like the um, VTech ones, but they didn't really work very well. They were really cute and they played like little games and stuff on them and they were good for that. But we do a lot of hiking and going out in the woods and my kids go out in the woods and play and all of that. So I think these are really good. So they are, they have a long, long range on them. So these are like, not just like kid walkie talkies, these are like legit if an adult was to buy a walkie talkie. So it's a set of four, like it says, travel, camping, party, hiking, any of that so these were super cool i'm trying to see if it says the distance on how it said it online but they went really far so i thought those were a really good deal for him he loves bakugans and bakugan cards and the little people and all of those things so i got him two of these i found these at target so these are super cool and he loves to collect all of these little things and collect the little cards as well so I thought those were good for him and then he got a big trick scooter <laughs> so he has a regular scooter um, but when we have a skate park in our town and he loves to go to the skate park and his scooter just it's more of like a little kid scooter I mean it works great but he can't really go up and down the ramps and do the different like pipes and all those different things so we got him this trick scooter. It's for eight year olds and up. It is the world's number one pro scooter brand. I got it at Walmart, so it's not like it's anything crazy, but um, I think he is going to absolutely love it. It's got, it also comes with a little stand, which I thought was super cute. So it won't just lay on the floor in my garage. I mean, let's be real. It probably still will lay on the floor in my garage, but. <laughs> Um, so I got him that and I think this was about 60, $65. So, um, that was one of his bigger gifts. And then he is getting a hoverboard for Christmas. So that is his big, those are his big, big gifts. All this stuff is just like kind of smaller things that I got and collected over the last few months. Um, but Layton's gymnastics bars and Austin's, um, hoverboard are what they are asking Santa for. So the way I do, or the way we do Christmas is the kids can, I mean, like we just got the Target catalog and they asked for, they circled, I think pretty much everything in the book. So um, I don't have them make a list. I don't have them do any of that. I tell them they can ask Santa 
for two or three things and then Santa picks the rest. So that's how I am able to buy all of this and then I know the few things that they asked for. Like Austin wanted an RC car, he wanted walkie talkies, he asked for, I mean those things he said he wanted but he's asking for a scooter and he was also asking for a hoverboard and a dirt bike. Like he's not getting all of those. So we went with this and I found a pretty good deal on a hoverboard so I got him that. Layton was asking for the school. She was also asking for some LOL dolls and, oh, excuse me, got the hiccups. Um, she was also asking for the gymnastics bars. Those were the big things that my kids were asking for that they have said that they've been asking for. So um, then that's it. And then I tell them, you know, if they ask for something the night before or in that, everything's pretty much out by now. Like all the catalogs came out. One or two toys may come out, but unless it's something like amazing that they have to have. Like Austin also asked for like an Xbox 5 or PlayStation 5 or whatever that new one that just came out. Like he's not getting that, you know? I'm like, you could ask, yes, Santa for all those things, but mom and dad have like the final say of dangerous things or super expensive things and things like that. So um, that is kind of how we do everything um, when it comes to Christmas. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you are subscribed because I'm going to be sharing with you what I got them in their stockings. And then I'm also going to be sharing like gift guides for my parents, for my sister, for nieces, nephews, uncles, cousins, all of that kind of stuff. So I have like some DIY things coming up and just some fun things, even if you're going to give um, like money, how you can kind of put it together and make it like a little small gift and do a little bit more so it's not just like a gift card or, you know, um, just straight cash. So, and I also will be figuring out, I think I've got it narrowed down, my teacher gift. So that will be a separate video as well. So make sure you guys are subscribed and I will see you guys next time. Bye.